how to install Webmin 2.0 on Ubuntu 22.04. Okay, here's my here's my Ubuntu, and I'm going to demonstrate how to install the latest version of the powerful Webmin web-based admin tool for Linux. Okay. Quick little background. Okay, here's the Webmin page. Here's their address here. And this is pretty much what I just said before. What is Webmin? Webmin is a web-based interface for system administration for Unix. Using any modern web browser, you can set up user accounts, Apache, DNS, file sharing, and much more. Webmin re removes the need to manually edit Unix configuration files like Etsy password and lets you manage the system from the console or remotely. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So you don't have to use the, I guess you don't have to use the terminal and the, the actual desktop interface environment. You can just run everything from the, from the, uh, from the browser. So you don't have to use the terminal, essentially, and or whatever GNOME provides. Just do everything from the browser. Okay. Uh, yeah, Webmin, Webmin has been around for a very long time and has proved itself over and over. Just how reliable, user-friendly, and powerful it is. Recently, the developers did release the 2.0 milestone for the software, which is what we're going to install right now. Although one might believe this is this to be a major release, it's more of an inc it's more of an incremental jump from one from the 1. Uh, X series version. That doesn't mean that there aren't uh, you know new features and fixes. This new release includes you know new new things. I don't need to go into the list of the litany you know the list of the, the new features but there's there's new features so I want to show you how to install webmin on, on Linux I'll be demonstrating on like I said on Ubuntu 22.04 it's not server it's desktop that, that should be good enough I think so you can see just how easy it is to get this handy admin platform up and running okay what you'll need to install webmin 2.0 the only things you'll need to make this work are running instance of Ubuntu and a user with pseudo privileges. That's it. Let's get to work. Okay, how to install Webmin 2.0. You won't f First of all, yeah, you won't find uh, Webmin 2.0 in your in the default uh, repos, you know, for Ubuntu, APT or whatever. And I guess there's no uh, PPA either. You'll have to go straight to the either straight to the page and poke around the downloads here on how to do it or we can use wget we can use the command line so we're logged in and we're going to use wget to download the the file that we need with the wget command okay so let's get started here okay we're going to use wget. If you don't already have it, just key it in. See, it's installed here. Otherwise, it would probably prompt you to install it. sudo apt install wget. So I've already got that utility here. Okay, so I'm going to just use that then. wget, and we're going to key in the URL. From GitHub kind of a long one, take me a couple of moments here to key it in webmin releases download 2.000 webmin underscore two point zero 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 again 
underscore all all and the de it, it's a deb file so all of this just to get the deb file downloaded to our local drive okay I didn't key in the right URL I need an extra slash webmin here okay now that we have the full URL path that we need to pass into wget we're going to enter on this okay and it's essentially going to clone the repo I'm not sure if it's going to clone the entire repo or or just this dev file here it's just going to download this dev file I think okay everything's fine here let's uh, let, let me clear the screen here let me just verify and see if there's uh, any uh, webmin Okay, yeah, I didn't actually download the uh, the source code from the repo. I just downloaded that that dev file here, and it didn't put it into the download folder. It put it into the home folder here. So if I was to cd into the download folder, I would not find it here. And I don't expect it's going to be here. And what? Yeah, these are some PNGs. I, I yeah, okay, yeah, I put these here these PNG files but you can see that it's not here it's on it's on the um, it's in the home folder okay so once the file download completes we're gonna I'm gonna demonstrate to you how to install it now we're gonna use D package but it's it, it, it's gonna um, it's gonna fall because the package can't it's good I don't know why people use it if it's not gonna resolve your dependencies otherwise it would probably just tell you that it can't install a dev file and then you have to install the dependencies manually which you know there's there's gotta be a better way right well there's uh... we're gonna you, you can use apt or gdebi which my ubuntu actually came with it and i don't see any other like you know pop has uh... eddie i don't know if ubuntu has their own kind of in-house or whatnot i think eddie is a pop os in-house a, a dot deb file installer all I found here, now this actually did come with Ubuntu, whereas on POP I had to install the GUI, GW package installer, but there was no other uh, GUI dot dev package installers that came with Ubuntu, so we'll just use the GW. But first I, I want to just demonstrate what the D package does or doesn't do. So th this we're going to use the standard G uh, D package um, install command. Okay, and then we're going to pass the .deb file into it here. Now this install will error out. That's okay because, like I said, we're going to use the apt or the gdeb, which are outstanding at fixing the problems like this, such problems, to resolve the issues of dependencies not being, you know, so it'll resolve your dependent your dependency needs. Okay, so we'll run this. And I expect it to error out or fault. Okay, as expected, yeah, D package, er, it faulted. It needs, you know, uh, it needs this uh, dependency. It's not installed. It needs some other ones. And it's just, you know, errors were encountered, so it just it, it fall, ab aborted. So you'd have to go through you know read through here and then do uh, sudo apt install and install these dependencies manually okay so we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna bypass the package and we're just gonna use apt we're gonna use apt get install and we're gonna use the f flag here so this command will download and install the unmet dependencies that the dpackage command couldn't handle. I'm not sure what the F does. I think it's like force maybe. I'm not really sure. I'd have to look that up. I think it means force. But it should just install it. Okay, here we go. See, it's going to install those, the, 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 the packages, the dependencies that the dpackage couldn't handle or just it knows that they need to be installed it just doesn't do it for you or or uh, prompt you to do it to have so you can go ahead and, and have it be done 
you, you have to just do it manually, totally. It's not automated at all, and it doesn't do it for you out of the box. Okay, yeah, okay. Do I want to continue? Yes. So we'll, we'll uh, Y on that. You know, it's not going to download anything. It's just going to go ahead and solve a dead package, and it's it might it might have to download so it might have to actually download his, those dependencies if not if they're not already installed. But the dev file has already been downloaded, so it's not going to download that again. And it's just going to maybe download the the packages that are needed if it if it's not already installed locally. Okay, good. That worked. You see, it went all the way through. Everything's clear. Okay, so after apt get fixes the installation, which it did. Okay, let me go ahead and clear this. Uh, we're going to open up. We're, we're going to open our browser, and we're going to point the browser to a certain um, a certain address, a certain socket, uh, IP address, or host name, and a port. Okay, so we're going to open. We're going to open the browser. Okay, there's the website again. We're going to go to Google, or that's my that's my start. That's my that's my start. And I'm going to point it to a certain URL here. I'm going to point it to this address here. And the address will be now it's not in documentation you'll see server like this, but server is the actual IP address of the host. So I'm not going to use fully qualified domain name or the host name. I'm just going to use the IP address that I already know what it is. It's 192.168.1.2. Now if you're not sure what your host IP address is, then you can just open another tab, another window real quick, and do the IF command in the, here right here. I'm on the uh, I'm on the wired LAN. This is loopback. And there's no wireless, so I'm on the wired LAN here. So this is what I would want: 192, 168, 1.2. Okay, I can close that. Minimize the uh, the the terminal. Go back to the browser. Okay, it was 192.168.1.2. Okay, then we're going to key in the port, and the port is 10,000. 10. Thousand. Okay, so once I enter it on that, I should be greeted by the webmin login window. Okay, we get this message here. It's not private. That's okay. We, I still want to go there. So we're going to click on the advanced here, and we're going to click down here where it says proceed to that to that IP address. To that, uh, yeah, I guess that would be the IP address that we're going to proceed to, or, or or that that port. Okay, great. There's my webmin login window. Okay. Now I'm going to log in with just. I don't. I don't have to use um, any kind of a webmin account. I can just account name or password login. I could just key in my username here along with you know my my Ubuntu username and password login and that should get me in I guess the, the, the point of that is that it's not really connecting to the cloud to get web in stuff we're just gonna log since we just want to go ahead and administer the local system we just need to log in locally. We don't really have to log in remotely or use anything from Webmin. Okay, so we logged in with that with, with the user that had the pseudo privileges, and I found myself here on the web Webmin 2.0 dashboard. And that's pretty much about um, as far as I'm gonna go. I'm gonna poke around with it later. I guess I would like for you guys to poke around yourself and, and uh, read through the documentation 
either here and or on their web official website. Okay, so that, that that's all there is to install Webmin 2.0 on Ubuntu 22.04. If you've never experienced Webmin before, it, I, I really can't say I have much either. I'm going to look into it myself. Uh, hopefully, uh, we're going to be in for a treat. As uh, as I've heard that this web-based admin console can make uh, your your and yours and my Linux administration tasks simpler and more efficient. Okay, so that's all. Thank you. I I look forward to your to your comments and your feedback. Thank you.